Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Subnautica. Today I finally can go to some of the deeper pods, uh, stranded pods, because I upgraded my sea mine to go to newer depths. I think it could go up to 300 meters now, so there are two new pods that I can access and I can't wait to see what's there. So let's go. Okay. Welcome aboard Where's my beloved sea mine? There it is. Oh, it's so big! Hello, my baby. Welcome aboard, Captain. Oh, I should fix it. Mm -hmm. Repair tool. No, oh, ground button. There you go. Oh, power source. Did I actually... Let me see. Maybe I can replace some of the batteries. One hundred, one hundred, one hundred, one hundred. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it, but... Oh god. Because I know saying the C word is gonna get me demonetized, but... There's this one... I think it was a TikTok originally. Um, are these both empty? Just this one. Okay. Let's bring two batteries. Huh? Have you guys seen that short video that's like, if you ask Alexa what 100, 100, 100, 100 is in... Was it Welsh? <laughs> I don't remember exactly, but she'll go like, C, 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 C. The C word. <laughs> Which is funny. I'm gonna go to this one first, LifeBot 12, because it's 250 meters depth. The other one is 300, if I remember correctly. Yeah, so that's gonna be at the very brink of how far we can go. This one should be at least well within our limits. So I feel like this is a good place to start. So sad about that, <laughs> that I can't say the Z word. I don't mind saying it, but I do like my ad revenue on YouTube, so... Um, I found out because remember that hidden object game I did for Christmas? I said it in that video <laughs> and I got demonetized for that reason. I guess I could have edited it out, but or oh, maybe I should just censor that word instead of talking around it. I should remember that. It's a good, good option. I really hope this recording goes well because I redid all of my OBS settings to run smoother with my RTX card. Um, I've been having some encoding issues. What was that? What was that purple glow there? I've been having some encoding issues. Um, I found I found out that Nvidia actually did an article about here's the best way our card works with OBS Studio. That's the Recording software I'm using. Whoa. What was that? Whoa. Oh, we're past 200 meters! Oh, here it is. I hope we can just swim here. This is scary shit. Oh god, they're already attacking my, my ship. Quick, get the things and get out of here. Um... Where is my flashlight? Integrating new PDA data. Okay, let's see if I can grab anything else. I think that's it. Whoa, shit. Okay, I'm out of here. This is scary. No thanks. Anything beside the pod? Ah, Jesus! I'm out of here. Bye! Detecting volcanic activity. Yeah. Unusual electromagnetic signatures in the region. You mean the fish? I'm hell no, I'm not diving deeper. I'm going back. <laughs> I got what I came for. Bye. That was fucking scary already. No thanks. Man, they broke my ship to 55. <sighs> okay. 
Oh, yes. This is better. Um, let me actually... Well, no. Let me just get back first. I wanted to get out and repair my sea mine, but... I don't want to risk it. What's that? Oh, that's just that random pod. Yeah. Well, that was the first one. That went really quickly. <sighs> that was easier than I thought. Such a big difference past the 200 meter mark. Suddenly everything is dangerous. <laughs> Scary shit. I love that my thing is pink. Why is the music all dangerous? I'm in like a safe area. Okay, let me repair my thing. Here you go, baby. My little sea mine. Okay. Now, let's see. I'm gonna drink a little. Check my data bank. What did I find? Life pod 12, medical officer Danby's crew log. I'm uh, not really a doctor. I know that's what my ID says, but I never have been. Hmm. Cheated the medical exams. What? What does a doctor these days need to know about manually resetting bones? When was the last time that's a top true. surgeon actually cut someone open? That's what the robots are for. Doctors these days read diagnoses off of computer readouts. For that, I'm perfectly qualified. But what good is it when He's I'm not, not connected to the main network? I'm bleeding. I've got glowing green pustules growing on my hands. What? I run a self-scan and it tells me I've got skin irritation. The only thing I studied in medical school was how to lie convincingly. What the hell do I know about how to treat an alien disease? Damn. I think I'm actually going to die down here. Yeah, you definitely did. Okay, this is all the stuff we've done. Did I have 23 new things? Oh, look at that. Yeah, the lightweight. Oh, plasteel ingot. I don't know how to make that yet. I see. Ultra glide fins. I don't know that either, do I? I can't make that. Oh, maybe I do have those. Sea moth stuff has been added. I see. That makes sense. The Cyclops engine. Thermal plant. Still don't know what all that's good for. I got a chic plant pot. That's it. Okay. Now that we're all up to date on everything, let's go to the other pot. Is this a cliff? Yep. Oh god. Here we go. 300 meters. Let's go. Let's do it. I'ma do it. Just keep swimming, like that file said. We're getting really close already. 350 meters to go. Halfway there, depth-wise. Only halfway there. <laughs> I'm already like, can I go back up, please? I don't trust this. I should really get some... Oh no, are they in here? I should really get some protective stuff. Oh god. Oh my god. Are they in here? Oh, this is fucking scary. There they are! How can I just leave my thing this deep? How is this not crushing me? What's this? Oh, fishies. <laughs> uh, 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 staying alive. Ha, 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 ha. What is this? Oh, no, wait. Those things hurt me. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Cool. I think that was it. new PDA data. Welcome we aboard, did it. Captain. Okay. 
I don't see anything else worth getting around here. I think it's time to go back up. God, this is fucking scary. <laughs> I don't like being here. Not at all. Who in his right mind wants to deep dive that deep? Wait, Aurora Rendezvous Point? It's not my ship? Or my pod? Is this the coordinates I found from, uh... Wait! This is the island I was on! This is the island I already explored! Yeah! Because this is a little loop thing! What? We already picked this island clean. Okay. I have no business here. Let's go. I already have everything I need from this place. <gasps> Although... I could... Let's go, let's go grab one of those um, fruits from that tree. Maybe I can... Whoa, what? Excuse me? Um... Because maybe I can grow my own tree and pluck my own fruit. I It's just a guess. I have no idea if it actually works, but I'm gonna take some of that with me. And hopefully don't forget. Okay, take a good look. This is where it was. <laughs> Took me so long to get back last time. Not again. Bulbo tree, can I take you with me? Yeah, here they are. So can I... No. Lantern fruit. I could try and plant that though. Okay. Now back to my thingy. Um, hmm. Gonna go back to my sea mine. Sea mine! I sell a junk! I wanna watch Hot Fuzz again. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> that was cool. Okay. Back home we go! That was so much easier than I thought it would be to go to that depth for the pods. Okay. Now I just have to swim back. That was super exciting though. I like that. that. I'm excited! <laughs> Grow! I'm looking at you! Grow! <laughs> I don't need to... I guess I don't need the normal survival knife anymore. So what's next? Did I get a radio transmission at all? No. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Oh, ultra high capacity tank. Additional air capacity. For lithium. I think I used up all of them. For the reinforcements. That's lead. One lithium. Two lithium. Three. <gasps> Four. Nice. We can make a better oxygen tank. 
It's 135 now. Let's see. That should be nice. Where do I craft it? I had a blueprint for it, didn't I? Yeah. Modification station? Oh. <laughs> if you come too fast, it just... He just climbs down instead of up. Uh... Is it here? No. I guess that's not a modification station. Can I make one? Oh, I don't have that one yet. Appliance that can be placed inside the Cyclops or inside a sea base module. Upgrade tools, equipments, and vehicle modules. Can be constructed after finding and scanning three of its fragments. Okay. So I don't have that yet. Gotcha. Guess I'll just put my tank back on my back. Um... Okay, let's check the data bank. Officer Keen's crew log. If you're reading this, then you have followed the automatic distress signal broadcast by this life pod's onboard computer, contrary to my orders. I've been forced to evacuate. Your orders are to disregard my safety and attempt to reach the designated rendezvous coordinates. Mm -hmm. Keen, this is Aurora. Come in. This is Keen. Life pod detached to Cape Planet, fall in 30 seconds. The computer has identified a landmass at the attached coordinates. I want you to regroup the crew there. Understood, but they are your responsibility now. Don't let them down. Captain, you need to evacuate. It's a huge Secretary, base. You'll need the ship in one piece if you're going to contact HQ on the long range. I'm attempting a controlled descent. Captain? Well, that didn't work out. At the attached coordinates. Yeah, that's the island. Hmm. <clears throat> Let's see. Um, do we have to look at... What was it again? Notes. Codes and clues. We've, we found that one for sure. I think six we found as well. Seven I'm not sure. 200 meters. Crew reported problems with their onboard fabricator. One kilometer southwest of the Aurora stem stern section. Yeah, that's the one I tried to get to. I have no idea how to actually find that though. This is the one I think I haven't found yet. I wonder if I make like a a beacon and then just from there go a kilometer a kilometer southwest um, how hard is it to make a beacon copper ore and titanium I should have oh, whoops some of that titanium It is dark. Copper. I don't really know where else to go, so I think that's just gonna be my current strat. Oh yeah, I should get some fishies. Cause I need water for my trip. Beacon. Bacon. Thanks for the bacon. Okay, I should probably wait for it to be daytime. So I can actually see where I'm going and there's like a huge sea creature there, right? 
that I don't want to make too angry. So I wonder if I just drop it. I can assign a quick slot to it though. Hmm. Oh yeah, I was like, where's my Seamoth? I forgot, it's directly under me. Mm. Really hope the recording is smooth now. Smoother than it was with the new settings. It took me so fucking long to find you and everything. All systems online. Okay, day times are coming. I'll have to be on the lookout for the big guy. We can just put it. Okay, I have an idea. We can just put it a little bit left of the. And it doesn't have to be exact because we're gonna see it probably. So like now we're at the stern, right? Okay. Have I not opened this box? What the fuck? Thanks. Cool. Nice. Okay, so we're now. Can I get up here? I wonder. Huh. <laughs> okay, this is about the stern, right? I feel like this is close enough. So I wonder. Do you work? Let's pick it up. <laughs> Let's put it in the water. So this is the stern. Um, edit name. Aurora Stern. So that should work? Cool. Okay. So from that point, we need to go a kilometer southwest, right? Uh, southwest of Aurora's stern section. Okay, one kilometer, 200 meter depth. Let's do it. Oh, there's another box here. Nice, there's a ton of stuff here. I hope the shark isn't here, whatever it is. Okay. Okay, so. This is the stern. Let's go southwest. We're on our way. One kilometer. I really hope this works. If it does, that's really cool. <laughs> I feel so smart. I wonder... I mean, my first thought is though, like, I hope I'm not doing this in a really dumb way and there's like a much better way to do this. How far is that? 400 meters? 600. Nice. Oh, there's sharks there. Oh, I already don't like this. Don't like this. I really don't like that sound. I hope my little sea mine is speedy enough. Okay, this is better. This is less scary. A kilometer! 
Okay. Guess I go down from here. 200 meters. We should hit something. Oh, fuck. Sharks. Or whatever they are. Fish. Dangerous fish. Okay. This should be the depth. Ah! Should be somewhere here. Seven. How do I get in? Oh, there. Toy car? Ah, fuck that. How do I dump it? Away with you! I don't want you! Fuck. Oh, there's a dude here! Integrating new PDA data. Oh, it's a doll. I saw his face. Scared me. Um, cylindrical flask. A great cap. What's this? Microscope. Non-functional. Another cap. This is the yeah cycle engine. Okay. Looks like I got it. Seek fluid intake. You got it. Vital signs stabilizing. Okay, what do we got? I've tried everything. The analysis circuits on the fabricator are fried. I can barely manufacture the most basic of materials. Want a battery? Here. Have a children's toy. <gasps> That's why there's so Deep many toys. Diving equipment? Have some lab tech. Hungry? I'll turn that fruit into dust for you. I'm going forward with trial and error. I hit every button here. It's got to make something useful eventually. Ah, oh, poor dude. Is that all I got, though? Did he make something useful? An unusual doll. Oh! Is that Mark's Easter egg? I found it. <laughs> Sean said that he had an Easter egg and Mark had one, as far as I know. Ah, fuck. That was it, though. I was so happy I found it. My strat worked. I've checked so many wrecks at this point, I'm, I have no idea if I've been here or not. Door is closed though. Hmm. Med kit. Seek light. Craft traps. Can I repair this? Vehicle bay. Sea glide. And nothing. I can't open this door. No. Oh, hey. Integrating new PDA. Welcome aboard, Captain. What I find? Paul Torgel. Uh, that was his son, wasn't he? Age at the time of disappearance, 79! Paul Torgal and his crew fell out of contact with the Mongolian authorities close to a decade ago. Torgos were a resourceful and protect powerful clan. Ship was well equipped to their survival, so their survival is considered likely. Multiple vessels passing through the system have since attempted to trace the ship to no effect. Here's, 
It is hoped that the Aurora's superior scanning suit can do better. Sweet can do better. Hmm. Altera. Oh, Bart. Was that the sun? Okay. Interesting, but doesn't do much for me. Hmm. Whoa, what's this? Is there something down there? Whoa, let's not go in there. Jeez. I'm just doing some random exploring for now. Maybe I should go to 300 depth, 300 meters somewhere. Just because I can, you know? I'm at least happy I found uh, pod 7 finally after a failed attempt. Hmm, this looks familiar. Oh, I haven't opened that door, though. Let's have a look. I have now learned that orange handle doors can be opened. <laughs> I didn't know that before. Okay. Laser cutter. Vehicle bay. It doesn't seem like there's anything really big in here. Does this door lead to the outside? Uh, I'll just cut it. It does not. Battery charger. Hey, data box. What is it? Ah, something I already had. Modification station. 30 seconds. Okay, I think I got it. I should go. Found a modification station. We I just learned about that. <laughs> what a coincidence. They have a word for that. I always forget what it is, but there's like a it's something something syndrome, I think, where you learn about a certain word or term and then you immediately notice it notice it again. There's a word for that. Um because I, I remember it very well because I had a, a teacher in Japan. She told me, um, something in here? Yeah, laser cutter. Um, where do I go? Okay. She told me that, um, learning Japanese, I was bound to, she said she was absolutely sure that if I would learn a new word, I would hear it again that same day. I was like, there's no way. We learn so many words and then there's so many things in a day that chances of you actually hearing that word again, that's too small. And then I learned some word. Oh, hey, I've been here. And I heard that that same day and I was like, motherfucker, she's right. 
Ooh, let's go down here. These look special. Oh, don't kill me. Whoa. Holy shit. This is awesome. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Let's not go deeper than this. Just having to look around. <gasps> Parts! What the fuck? Has someone been here? Whoa, this looks like it's set up. There's nothing in these boxes, though. The conditions in this cave support a microcosm of unique, possibly predatory life forms. Detecting predatory? Artificial structure somewhere in the region. Really? Oh, we gotta find it. Where is it? That doesn't sound good though. Okay, move from this key. Let's just keep moving. We'll deal with whatever happens after that. Oh god. The fuck? Trying to find that structure, but not really seeing anything. Are you supposed to stand up like that? It looks weird. Oh god. Oh! This is something. This is scary though. I don't want to be out my outside my thing. Oh no. Inventory full. Ah! I need to eat something anyway. Let's eat the cured meat. Cured fish. Can I find like a PDA? Something to scan? This seems so special. Give me something. Maybe I can hide in here. Maybe that's why this is here. Hmm, I didn't see anything. If you were a structure, <laughs> a man-made structure, where would you be? Has to be like an open space somewhere, right? I also have no idea where I came from, but at least I have a spare battery on me for the power cell. Hmm, nothing yet. Oh, I want to find it so bad. seeing it but then again I also haven't even seen the one before again so the first thing we found I haven't seen that again I wish the scanner could like point me in the right direction because I have no idea maybe it's in the back here Oh, there it is. Okay. I mean, the thing I saw before. My god, this is so cool. <laughs> Scary, though. Okay, where is it? I want to find it. better not be the things that I found just now. That was way too tiny and there was nothing to get. I just got some water. Oh god. Found a new platform. Welcome a battery. Aboard, <laughs> I 
This is so cool, but also oh, <gasps> is that it? Holy shit! Someone built this here. What? Okay, do I go in through here? Oh, there's a PDA in there. Okay. Oh, the gassy. Oh. That kind of makes sense. Okay, I doubt I can touch these. So I'm gonna be very careful. I can scan this. Water filtration machine. <gasps> Water? No more bladder fish? <gasps> is that what it is? I hope so. I really hope so. Sneaky. Okay. Integrating new PDA data. Awesome. Thanks. There's a ladder going up here. Stuck. Running out of oxygen soon, though. Oh my god, I found treasure! Okay, back in the middle. Um, let me go back to my Seamoth. Because I want to take my time. Don't want to stress about oxygen. Um, there you go. Okay. Should I put a beacon here, huh? Okay. Um, ooh, data box. What is it? Something I already had. Well, that sucks. Integrating new PDA data. Can't wait to read these logs. Okay. I think I got everything. I think that was it. Ouch! They do hurt. <laughs> My sea moth is so in sync with the surroundings. I hope it works as camouflage. Okay, let's see. What did I get? Bart log. Oh, Bart! Bart was his son. I thought it might get claustrophobic living underwater. Father feels it is. So they left the childish, island. But I stare out the window and, and they went I think here. how lucky I am to see this world up close. Back on the island, I wouldn't have believed the creatures that live down here. The fish, they glow. There's one that's 90% eyeball. <laughs> Snakes twice the length of a habitat compartment. Certainly, it's not all friendly. Most of the plant life is toxic. Learned that the hard way. But I've managed to coax some marble melons into growing indoors. And when they don't cover our dietary needs, well, we eat the fish themselves. It's a bit gross, but it's nothing they wouldn't do. I've been attempting to document my findings. Father approves. He says understanding is power. That the more we know about this planet, the more we can use it to our advantage. I'm just doing it because it's fun. It's not easy without proper equipment and network access. But the old-fashioned way, hmm. observing, taking notes, testing I don't know theories, what happened, though. It's all broken. Shows me the world in a way a spectroscopic analysis never could. What went wrong? Lately, I've been watching the crab snakes. They ambush their prey as it tries to feed on the mushrooms they hide in. What they don't eat settles on the seabed, which fertilizes the mushrooms, which feeds the herbivores, and so the chain continues. Coevolution gives me the fuzzies. Something incredible just happened. Since we're down here, I had this plan to build equipment and study the life forms we were encountering, but I didn't have enough enameled glass. So, I started looking for a mm. natural substrate that would strengthen the glass we have. And those stalker teeth we've been finding fit the bill. Right, stalker Only, teeth. Well, we needed more. That's when Marguerite got interested. She actually listened to me. More than I can say for father. And I worked up the courage to talk about my more tentative theories. When I told her they were attracted to metal deposits, that their teeth get dislodged when they pick them up, her eyes narrowed and she dashed out of the room. 
Three hours later, she came back, her pack loaded down with stalker teeth. Hmm. I asked her about it. She shrugged and said my theories were good. Said she had the meeting out of the palm of her hand. I think she meant it literally. So she, she is incredible. She, she used metal to have them bite in with it. With just a heat blade and went fin to fin with a pack of stalkers. On the one hand, that is the coolest thing I have ever heard. Heat blade. On the other, yeah, I have that. Well, I hope the stalkers didn't come off worse than Marguerite did. She had a huge gash on her forearm. I don't think things went as smoothly as she made out. And what's the point in surviving here if we have to kill everything that makes it so wonderful? I wish I knew more about these animals. But father won't let me leave the habitat. Maybe with all this glass, we could build a containment unit and get up close to them. Hmm. God, I found Son, so much. There is always a pecking order. And in our world, money makes a hierarchy. I pay Maida a fraction of what I pay you, and you a fraction of what I pay me. If money makes the hierarchy, why is Marguerite making the decisions? We need her. We let her think what she likes, so long as she does what she's told. And what if she doesn't? <laughs> For enough money, she will. People always do. Hmm. We're already 200 meters below sea level. You want to go deeper? They went deeper. Look around us, Chief. Water leaking through the hull, water outside the hatch. We're drowning real slow. If rescue arrives, whatever shot us down, it's going to do it again and again until it's shut off. You see an off switch around here, Chief? So she wants to find Why one. Why would it any more likely be half a kilometer down? Your kid found something on the scanner. There's something down there. Oh. Something that shouldn't be. <laughs> You're mad! I'm going all the same. And I have an idea you two are going to follow. But if you do... So they left mindful, this base. Your authority stopped at sea. To find something even deeper. You know what Maida told me today? She wants to build a meters. habitat 500 meters below sea level. More than a kilometer North northeast east. of here. And she needs Bart and I to do it. She's got it into her head that she can save us if she just acts recklessly enough. But I've hauled Star Wars to Neptune, Plasteel to the Federation. <sighs> this family operates nine different mining colonies across the Ariadne Arm. Maida thinks Arr. she's better suited to lead. Her contract still says otherwise. I just cannot damn well tell whether it's the stupidest idea I ever heard. Or my only hope. I turned 80 years old last week. Right, he went missing at missing at me, 79. Ruined on this planet, there's no swapping out of my liver when the old one fails. Here, a mortal, a maida, is useful. So, it's my responsibility to make a decision. Return to the island and hope whatever not that the Gazi out of the sky won't do the same to the rescue ship, or take us deeper. Oh, go deeper! And all the while be hoping old age gets me before the sea monsters do. I'll give Maida just one thing. Lithium. She was right about these caves. There's enough lithium there to fabricate a hundred tons of plasteel. Enough for a damn fleet of Cyclops submarines. There was nothing anyone could have done to avoid crashing here. But I was right to order the detour. If we get off this planet... They'll be so about lithium the makes plasteel. Price on the other side of the Federation. <laughs> uh, oh wait, I got more. Blueprints. Modification station. Yeah, that's what I need. But I need more scans before I can actually get that modification system. Draws water unfit for human consumption from an external source. Automatic. Atomically splits it into. Ah, oh, yeah. So you get water, okay, water and salt, probably. That would be fucking awesome. Okay. Let's see. Um, this is probably also just the water filtration. Yeah. Copper wire aerogel, I don't know how to make aerogel, fuck. So, plasteel from lithium don't think that's in my 
things yeah I can make. Oh, it is. Titanium ingot and lithium times two. So I need to find a ton of lithium for whatever I want to make. What do I want to make with the... Was it the Cyclops? The prawn suit as well. Plus steel ingots. Oh god. But aerogel again. Enamel glass we can... we know how to make now. The tooth. It's just the aerogel that I have no idea how to make. What else is there? Cyclops. Also don't know how to make that. Okay. Can I... Does not stack. I was gonna say, can I stack these to just make it go deeper and deeper? But I can't. Do I even know how to make the prawn suit? Oh yeah. No. Aerogel. So I can make Plasteel, but I don't know... I guess I should just go find my way up from here. I doubt I'll be able to find this again later. <laughs> I don't know if this leads out. It's a tight fit. God, that's really hard to find. Proposed habitat, 500 meters depth. Yeah, I can't get there. Oh, this is only 300 meters? Oh, wow! It's only 300 meters from where I am! Um, this is... North-Northwest, so... That means that it's... Southeast. 300 meters southeast. I hope I remember that. So I learned some stuff. Got some new stuff, but still not really... Still materials I don't know how to get. Fuck. Definitely cool to now know where they went after the island, though. Oh yeah, I need to eat some. Let me just quickly hunt some fishies with my heated knife. I still have the toy car in my inventory. Oh my god. Didn't even realize. Can I just put that somewhere? Does it need to be like on a shelf? Probably. <gasps> the tree! I have a tree! Yes! Look how cool! Oh my god! Can I eat this? Ten. I mean, it's not a lot, but that's so cool! I'm eating fruit from my own tree! This is now just a- oh. I can pick up- oh! Oh, and this I can eat as well! Let's eat it anyway. That is so awesome! I have potatoes and look at the pretty flowers! Oh, I'm so happy with this! I'm gonna make another one of these. Put it here. Yay! That's so nice! I love that. <laughs> okay. Let me put some more stuff away and I think that'll be it for this episode. Um... Can I even wear the cap? Sample flask. I don't even know why I need that, but I got it. I think that's good. Um, where should I go? Let's look at my sea mine. Sea mine! My baby! Um, but yeah, that was it for this episode. I feel like uh, that was a great discovery to make in the cave. Just random. <laughs> I want to get more upgrades, but I don't seem to be able to 
make some of those. I need the recipes. I'm missing some stuff that I need to scan. I don't really know where I'm going to find all of that. Maybe I should just look through my, um, my codes and clues section again, see if I can find anything else new. Um, maybe it sends me in a new direction. But for now, this was it. I have, I'm having so much fun. I can't wait to play more and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks so much.